I've got an exciting video coming up for you. It's an Instagram Reels tutorial. It's a step-by-step, -step, all the basics and the features. We'll go through them together. I've got my camera ready and uh, recording so you can follow along on the screen with me. Are you ready? I hope so. Let's go. I'm Ray from Simply Create. I'm going to be talking to you, but also going through on the app. Um, so you can follow along if you've got this up on a screen and your phone in your hand. You can stop and pause and keep coming back. Or I have broken it down into chapters for you in the description below. So you can pick the bit that you want to go to and learn about specifically. Right, let's go. Okay, so we're just going to talk about how you find reels, other reels that people are creating, and how you get to create your own reels. So first of all, to find your own reels from your Instagram page, like you can see here, um, that was my latest reel and that's what it will look like in a profile. From your profile, how to get to look at other people's reels. So first of all, if you hit the magnifying glass, the search at the bottom, reels has now become that full screen, screen feature on the explore page. So if you now press the reels in the bottom left hand corner, these are all the reels that people are creating. So I'm just gonna flick through loads of them right now. There we go, these are all the reels. Um, so that's what's being created right now. If you wanna create your own reel, if you go to the home, if you go up to where you would create your story, this will take you into what was always and what was is normally stories. Um, now, if you see, first thing you need to see is at the bottom, your on story where it says that is highlighted in white, if you swipe to your left you'll go live and if you swipe to your right you'll now be on reels i'm going to go through each and every function of reels i'm going to take you through it um, and obviously if you have any questions leave them in the comments so first one top left corner is your settings you can hide your stories from people you can um, uh, identify who your close friends are so that you can just send to close friends um, allow messages and replies, saving. Now saving to camera roll, I have off at the minute, just takes up a lot of memory. But if you wanna save your story as you kind of go along, you can do that uh, by swiping it across like that. Um, obviously to archive and then how you share your stories. So um, just pick your settings, make sure you've gone through those at first. Uh, we're gonna to work top to bottom. So at the top here, um, this lightning is pretty much the universal symbol for flash. So you can have it on automatic, you can have it on off or on. I always have mine off um, and and work if I really need the flash on, put it on at that time. Obviously in the right, if you press the cross, it will take you out. So first feature on the left hand side, right at the very top is the music icon. So if you hit that, you now get loads and loads and loads of tracks to pick from. Uh, they're the four U ones. Uh, so uh, then you have your browse. Um, so they're by category, and obviously you have search music at the top. Um, just as an example, I'll show you my favourite artist, which is Rich32, as an example. And then there are all his <coughs> songs, and if you pick one, um, so if I pick six words, um, you could listen to it just to make sure you like that song, or it is the song that you thought it was. Um, at the minute I am listening to it, but you can't hear it um, just because I have it plugged in so I can screen share. Um, and let's just say you wanted to pick that one, you then just hit the actual one, uh, the actual track, uh, and then it will be playing the track for you. Um, so you can listen to it again, but also so you can pick where in the song you actually want the song to play. So you have the whole song, but it's, you haven't got to just pick the bit that it picks for you right at the beginning, but you have to kind of scroll through and you can see the words obviously on the screen as well. Um, and you flip through and find the bit you want. So I'm going to say we want the beginning, right at the very, very beginning. Um, and then you press done in the top right hand corner. If you didn't want it anymore, press cancel. So if you press done, that's the track that's now going to be playing in the background when you do whatever you do, whether that's talk, dance, sing, whatever it is you do. I hope you are enjoying this video. I hope you're finding it helpful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to tappity tap tap that like button. And of course, subscribe to keep this channel alive because subscribing really does help support the channel and me to create more and more videos. But now you've done all that, 
let's get back to it. The next one you have uh, down uh, will be your speed in which you record. So you can record your videos quicker or slower. Now, um, you all you need to do is scroll across and that's half times, three times uh, slower. Uh, and this is two times quicker, three times quicker. Um, but obviously we just want it normal for this at the moment. Uh, a moment. But for example, you can then have a slow-mo, uh, then you can record another section in uh, sped up. Um, you can record really fast. Um, you, you can play around with different speeds. So make sure you do that. Um, next we have the face icon, uh, which everybody should know from Instagram, which is basically your effects. Um, and, and you can scroll through your effects along the bottom. So I don't know what it's going to come up with, but yeah, there's a weird effect there. The classic one of the time right now. Um, there's loads of ones. Ooh, sparkly. Um, there's loads of different ones. Here we go. Let's get the flame on. Flame on! Um, so yeah, there's loads of different types of uh, um, filters that you can go to. You can pick one of those and record in that. Oh, look at that one. Um, but you can also scroll right to the end uh, and browse. So you've got the browse effect there. So if you hit browse now, you can then have a look for other filters that you might like to use. Um, and obviously you've got the search bar at the top as well. And as an example, if you were looking for a green screen, there you go, you've got some green screens there and you can pick one, all right? So, that's effects. To tap the effects off, you just tap the button again, re-tap the button and it goes away. Then you've got timer. Uh, now, timer is a great feature, one of the best uh, kind of features in it because it allows you to stop and start at certain points. Now, it might be a certain point without a track or with a track. Don't forget, we've set this to a track. Um, so, this first five seconds where you can see it looping, um, I can set the timer so it'll be uh, play for five seconds and stop recording. So if I set that timer, which I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit the record in a second and I'm just going to kind of count to five. Um, and you'll see it will stop when the timer has run out and it's got to that five seconds. So it will first count you down to one and I'm going to go. There you go, it's got to five, So and it stops recording. And how you can see it recording, if you look right at the very top, you've got the pink, pinky Instagram, purple color that's got to a certain point and got a, a, white, a little white line next to it. That's how far you've got in the 15 seconds you've got, so basically a third. Um, but what you've also got now, because you've done a little bit of recording, is you've got an arrow to your left and your right. So you can finish it up there. If you want to finish it up there, you hit the right arrow, the, the solid white arrow. But if you just press the back arrow the, on the other side, the left, um, it will show you what we recorded. Um, now, you've got a couple of things you can do here and, and at different stages. You can bin it. You don't like it. Hit the bin and off you go. Um, you can also cut things off. So let's just say I, I, I messed up that three. So let's just say I want to just go to two. I can tap and drag all the way to when I get to two there. So now I can cut it and just keep that bit. And if I want to keep that bit, um, if I want to keep it all, fine, you didn't need to do this. But if you just want to cut it there, uh, uh, when it gets to two, cut it, drag along, and then hit the, the white um, arrow to your right. And now, um, if you look, that, that bit at the top, just up there, has got smaller. It's no longer the five seconds that we had it on. Um, now, there's a, a couple of other things you can do with this. Um, timer. You can just set it now again, obviously, and it's not going to move um, to the left anymore because we've already got recording there, but you can make it as long or as short as you want. Um, and again, it will stop at that point. Um, the other thing, like I won't cancel the time, the other thing you can do when you can record in is you can just tap the record straight away. If you tap it, it's just going to record for you straight away. So if I go like that and then I go three, two, one, and then stop it. I've done that myself, so I've tapped it. Or you can hold the record button. So if I hold it now, you can hold it for as long as you want, but also whilst you're holding it, you can drag up and down and it will do the zoom. Whee! Um, and that's what you've got. Now I've got three different sections. The way you can tell that is right at the top here, right at the top. Um, you've got uh, different white lines that kind of segregate it, would tell you how long each bit is. And again, if we press the back arrow down in the left, uh, you can see all the sections. And again, I might want to cut a bit. Let's just say I don't want as much zoom in. I can cut that last little bit of zoom. Let's just stop it when we get to like there. So now I've cut some of that zoom. But you can also go back in a few sections. But you can only edit 
this last section you recorded. Um, so you can go back to section one by tapping the top uh, uh, pink line that, that goes. So now let me go back again. Um, and here we go. There we go. Back again. There we go. And it's playing all the way through now, just so I can see. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. If I'm not happy with it, hit the bin. So let's just say, right, this last section, I want to hit the bin. Yep, I'll discard that. Now, we've only got two sections, uh, and I'll have to record my zoomy face bit again. There we go. I did that zoomy face bit. And again, you can you can watch it. Now, you've also got the ability in the bottom left-hand corner, you can tap that, and you can add uh, videos and images that you already have. So if I tap the bottom left, there we go, um, it's going to let me add videos. So let's just say I want to add that video there. And it's just added in. If I decide no, I want to add in a bit of football training boomerang, then I add a bit of football training boomerang in. So you've got an option to do an upload, which is really good, uh, back down in the left hand side. And then the right hand side, uh, and just so you can see, if I you got the turn you can turn the camera around. So this is a bit, you know, meta. There we go, recording the recording, uh, but just so you can see that it turns the camera around. Um, so they're your, they're your main features. Um, now we've still got the song on, and if I want to get rid of the song, um, if I want to get rid of the song, go back to that song where it's a, a, a little icon of the, the artist thumbnail, get rid of that, bin it, no, I don't want the song, there we go, no song. Right, but I can still do things like um, record uh, uh, the timer, um, but it just won't have the song on. Okay, so I can just set the timer now. No song on. So if I set uh, the timer, there we go. For the, yeah, those three seconds. And then I hit, we've got another countdown. And we got three, two, one. Boom. The last one that I want to talk to you about is right in the bottom. If you can't, let me move out of the way in the, this bit, which is a line, which I think is really good. Now it shows you where you last left off. So that was the face I last left off. I'm not, not sure I'm going to be able to align with that. But where I will now go is I can go close to it. I can turn my face. And if you see, I can try and align it. And then I could record from there. So that was the last place I was. So then I can record and be like, yeah, and that was where I was. And it, obviously it should help be the tra transition be a bit smoother. I don't know if it will have, but let's, uh, let's have a look. I think I wasn't even pulling the same face, but there we go. So it actually worked all right, um, which I'm a bit surprised with, but we'll go with it. Um, uh, and so that's the basics of all the functions that you need to be able to cre start creating your reels. Um, so play around with using music, using the timer, um, changing your camera angles, adding effects, um, adding and uploading um, lots of videos uh, that you've already created. I imagine that that's going to be the case anyway, because people are going to be using their TikTok videos and just using those to upload as Reels begins. But I really do encourage you to create within the app uh, because it will get you familiar with it um, straight away. So let's get in and finish off this Reel then. Okay, that's this video. The purpose of this was to take you through the basics, take you through the features, um, so you can build up and get familiar so you're ready to create some great Instagram Reels. I look forward to seeing them. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Hope you've liked and subscribed. And as always from Simply Create, thank you for watching.